This guy has definitely has a, a history, and we're going to get into that. He goes by the name of Thomas Quinlan, and he is checking in for here in the Mixtape Show, and he runs Hand Solo Records. And I appreciate you joining me, sir. How are you doing tonight, man? What made you want to kind of get into this part of it and, and help kind of create this 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 ecosystem with these artists and stuff like that? Um, well, uh, I guess it comes a lot of it goes back to uh, to Halifax. Mm-hmm. Um, I I got into the music from there um, at one point uh, back in like about the mid nineties, mm-hmm. and uh, I just found that the stuff that they were doing from there was very creative. Coming from like a smaller area, mm-hmm. me being in Toronto, uh, a lot of the people I was kind of seeing and surrounded by were uh were more interested in uh i guess kind of getting that big record deal you Mm -hmm. know that it it seemed conceivable coming from toronto Mm -hmm. but in halifax i think you know it it didn't it seemed much further away so a lot of the uh the people out there were kind of making music that they wanted to to make and Mm -hmm. wanted to hear uh, and seemed to step in because um before i was doing uh the record label and even i guess during a lot of the record label i was also um uh, wrote a lot of like hip hop stuff uh, mm-hmm. for magazines and things. And uh, I guess uh, this one magazine I had applied to got back to me uh, and they, the very first job that they wanted me to do was to write an article on how to start your own <laughs> indie hip hop li- or indie label. Um, I do, I do remember bringing the album. Um, like I want to try to get it out uh, as far as possible. Uh, I made a trip down to New York, my first trip down there. And I remember bringing it with me and bringing it to stores to try to, uh, um, to get in for, I guess, like consignment sales at mm-hmm. least. Mm-hmm. And I had, uh, I had no takers. Uh, <laughs> people would put it on in the store and they'd be like, you know, what are these guys rapping about? It just, it wasn't like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, 1996, yeah, 97, yeah. it wasn't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that rugged, uh, you know, New York yeah. kind of style. Yeah. It was like, you know, people rapping about, you know, listening to the radio in Halifax and stuff <laughs> like, yeah, quite, yeah. quite different. But I, yeah. I was kind of disappointed from that, yeah. that I, I just, you yeah. know, New York birthplace of hip hop and yeah. no one cared. <laughs> yeah. You didn't, you didn't walk in there with the latest mob deep album, right? <laughs> so yeah. Was... <laughs> yeah, exactly. 